If you're a parent, you're probably busy making sure your kids are prepared in every way as they head back to school, but you may be forgetting one of the most important ways to keep kids safe. 7 Action News reporter Amory Marie LaFlain hits the streets with law enforcement in a special back to school Detroit's most wanted. New schools, new bus stops, new people in your kids' lives. Michigan State Police are out right now looking for non-compliant sex offenders, but they say as your kids go back to school, there are some important things you need to do to keep them safe. Operation Final Countdown. Just days before the kids are back in school, law enforcement across the state in a final push to make sure our communities are safe. The people who we are concentrating on today uh, have valid felony warrants for the sex offender registry. The U.S. Marshals are also asking for your help finding 20-year-old Brian Maldonado, who's accused of sexually assaulting a child in Ann Arbor. They say he took off once charges against him were filed. But this multi-agency task force is working to find 29 non-compliant sex offenders during the two-day sweep. When they're not doing the simple tasks of coming in and reporting when they're supposed to, then that gets on our radar and we obviously want to track them down and find them. Sergeant Brenda Hoffman with Michigan State Police says parents sometimes overlook the most important ways to keep their kids safe in the new school year like searching the Michigan Sex Offender Registry. And that way you can see who is in the area of either where you live, where your school is. She also warns a school safety zone, part of the state's Sex Offender Registration Act, that prevents registrants from living or loitering within 1,000 feet of school property does have exemptions and only applies to schools kindergarten through 12th grade. It does not include daycares. Um, unless the daycare is affiliated with a K through 12 school. She says parents are often surprised to find it excludes city parks, libraries and other spots kids may go after school. And she adds some school districts only run background checks every five years. Ask them to start doing it yearly to do those checks to see who the people are coming in and out who are volunteering, who are going on the field trips. State police want you to know they will run background checks for schools and nonprofit organizations anytime for free. So it's just be aware of, of who you're dealing with so everyone's safe. And Sergeant Hoffman reminds parents to keep the conversation with both schools and their kids open all year long. I have that conversation with them so they they can feel comfortable coming up and, and saying like, hey, you know, this, this person may have approached me today. I, just, I kind of feel a little uncomfortable about it. Um, so they're not scared to, to come to their parent or, or an adult. If you know where a non-compliant sex offender may be, you can give Michigan State Police a call or you can leave an anonymous tip on their website. I've put that on WXYZ.com. In Warren, I'm Anne-Marie LaFlame, 7 Action News. All right, thanks, Anne-Marie. Great advice for back to school.